Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel once again and to another mod uh, marathon, I suppose, because I'm doing a bunch of these mods at the same time. So, and in this video, I'll be stripping all this stuff on top and I'm gonna be cleaning the engine valley. Now, I checked there before, I looked underneath there and it looks like there's some rats. They used to live there. This truck came from a farm. So I think there was a rat nest or mice or something that was li living in there. I guess we'll see uh, once we remove a bunch of uh, stuff from here. Plus when I cleaned this engine before, it was nice and, and dusty. So I cleaned as much as I could from the top, but obviously I could not clean down in the valley. It was uh, horrible, it was dirty. I did the best I could, but now it's time to get uh, really messy and get down in there and do the best we can because we're gonna be doing other mods. And, and so what we're gonna do next is remove all the stuff on top and then get to the valley and see what she looks like. Alrighty, let's go. Alright guys, so now that everything is removed on top and I plugged up the holes, uh, everything that I could so debris does not fall in there, uh, I'm going to be cleaning the valley actually. And then uh, once the valley is nice and clean, I'm going to remove all that debris in there, all that mouse, bed, house, whatever, toilet, everything. I'm going to remove all that, clean everything out. Uh, and then once that's done, nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, start removing the plenums and if you guys saw my previous video I already installed the up pipe and uh, yeah so now I gotta clean the valley make it all nice and because I don't want to remove the plenums and then a bunch of debris starts falling into the holes so I'm gonna go ahead and clean as much as I can and then uh, start moving the, the plenums the biggest thing I'm concerned about there's a bolt somewhere over here that's gonna be really tight uh, and hard to get to. I might even have to loosen it a little bit and then cut it off. We'll see when we get to that part. But for now, let's get to cleaning and make this as clean as possible and then do some more um, upgrades. All right, let's go. I don't know guys that's just disgusting it's like oil with rat feces and who knows what else hopefully I can clean all this and make it somewhat nice
All right, guys, and the engine valley is clean. I know it looks kind of ugly, but that's uh, that's about 20 years of uh, oil buildup and stuff. And some of this stuff I really can't get out. Uh, it's pretty baked, pretty uh, hard on there. But my biggest concern was the valley because all this stuff was pretty much covered in poop and who knows what, I don't know. So I cleaned it the best I could. I brushed it, uh, sprayed it with the engine degreaser. And uh, yeah, I, I did it a couple times. And like I said, all this stuff is, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. It's not gonna be a show truck. My biggest concern is that it's clean and there's no junk in there. The valve covers are nice and tight. The up pipe is installed, sort of. Um, after I do the plenums, then I'll be able to do everything else. And honestly, all this stuff is taking a little bit longer than I expected in my work. Um, hours are weird this week. Every day I'm on call this week, so it makes it a little bit tougher. I don't really have a set schedule this week. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get all this stuff done. So basically my, my goal is to get home as soon as I can, sleep, wake up, do stuff, work calls me, uh, and then go from there. All right, so guys, I hope you enjoy this messy cleanup and are enjoying these marathon upgrades. So yeah, we'll get this done. We'll get it nice and clean. We're not gonna have any leaks. The boost will hopefully go up a little bit. We'll get a little bit uh, better performance. And then hopefully the plenums will help. Uh, breathing a little bit better. And of course the up pipe with no leaks is gonna run a little better. Hopefully it's gonna be a little bit quieter, quieter too because if both of them were leaking on both sides, then I'm sure it was louder inside than it should be. Then we're gonna do the oil crossover and start putting it back together. All right guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more mods coming up and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.